All right, here we go. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Being able to solve a system in about a minute with your calculator. Um, so this is what we have to do. Of course, you're going to have to show a setup. So you look at your system, and you want to make sure they are in AX plus BY equals C form, which they are. And your calculator is going to do all the work for you. You do have to show a setup. So you need three matrices. The first one we're going to call matrix A. And that is going to be our coefficient matrix. So we're just going to use the coefficients of x and y. Of course, you need them in the right order. So we're going to have a negative 3, 4, 2, and negative 1 times. Now we have our variable matrix. We're just going to call it matrix x. But it's our variables x and y. Okay, that's our variable matrix. And that's going to equal b is what we'll call it. And that is going to be our constant matrix. So we have 5 and negative 10. And that's our constant matrix. Now, yesterday you learned how to use your calculator to uh, do inverse matrices uh, and solve for a big matrix X. And your calculator is going to do all the work for you. So all you need to do is go enter matrix A and B into your calculator. So again, that's a second matrix. And we're going to slide on over to edit. And we're going to edit matrix A. And it's a 2 by 2. And we're going to enter negative 3, 4, 2, and negative 1. And then we're going to quit out of here. And then we're going to go back to the matrix menu and we're going to go edit matrix B. And that is a 2 by 1. So we have to change the dimensions to 2 by 1. And our constants are 5 and negative 10. And once you have that entered, you quit. And this is what you need to type into the calculator. We need to take the inverse of matrix A and multiply it by matrix B. And that, all we have to do is second matrix A, inverse button, second matrix B, Press enter, and you get negative 7, negative 4, and that is our answer. Negative 7, negative 4. That is the solution to our system. Of course, remember to write it as an ordered pair because it is an ordered pair because it's a system. It's not just a matrix. We actually are solving a system. We're just using matrices to solve. Okay, so that's it. And of course, that's matrix X. So matrix X is equal to negative 7, negative 4. And we just write it as a coordinate, negative 7, negative 4. And that's it. You can do it by a 3 variable. You can do a 4 by 4. Your calculator will do anything for you um, within reason, of course. So why don't you pause and set up your two or your matrix equation and use your calculator and solve for this XYZ system. Go for it. Look, did you get the same thing that I got? It's um, negative two, three, one. And of course, you can substitute it back into your three original equations and see if it is correct. But I tell you, if you type it into the calculator correctly, then you will be able to obviously get the answer in about a minute. So there you go. Um, check your matrices if you got anything that is different than mine. Um, but then you just have to make sure you type it in the calculator carefully and you're good to go. So last one is a word problem. And we have tickets to go to a high school play. And all you're going to have to do is write the equation and use inverse matrices to solve. So you have 400 tickets to a high school play. 
Uh, three types of tickets are sold, $8 adult tickets, $6 student tickets, and $5 senior tickets. The number of adult tickets sold is twice the number of senior tickets sold. And a school raise a total of $2,550. How many of each ticket was sold? So what you are going to have to do is you're going to have to set up three equations. Now pause the video and see if you get the exact same things that I do. All right, so let's see. As mentioned before, the most important thing about this problem is writing the correct equations. It doesn't matter how good you are at solving an algebra equation or even if you can type in the calculator now and have your calculator solve a system for you. If you write the wrong equations, you're going to get the wrong answer. So we have tickets. That's the stuff part of this. We have some stuff. We have adult tickets, student tickets, and senior tickets, and we sold 400 tickets. We have $8 per adult ticket, plus $6 per student ticket, plus $5 per senior ticket, is equal to a total of $2,550. And then finally, we have the number of adult tickets sold is twice the number of senior tickets. So X is equal to 2 times Z. Now, those are the three equations you need, but you've got to manipulate that last one really quick because remember, if we are going to use our calculator, we need to have these in almost standard form, except for A does not have to be positive. So we need to rearrange this to x plus 0y minus 2z equals 0. And that will be our three variable system. So we get rid of this, set up our matrix. So of course we're going to have matrix A, which is 1, 1, 1, 8, 6, 5, and 1, 0, negative 2 times our variable matrix, which we'll call x, and we have x, y, and z, and that's equal to our constant matrix B, which is 400, 2,550, and 0. We are going to go to our calculator, and we're going to press second matrix. We are going to go edit matrix A, which is now a 3 by 3. So we have 3 by 3, and then we make sure we enter very carefully 1, 1, 1, 8, 6, 5, and 1, 0, negative 2. And we have our matrix A. We quit out, and we go to second matrix. We're going to go edit matrix B which is now a 3 by 1, and we have 400, 2,550, and 0. Now we quit, and of course our little shortcut, if we just press second enter, that will bring up the last step we did, and since we're still doing A inverse B, we just press enter. And you get, now it's a word problem, so make sure you answer the question. So we have 100 adult tickets. We have 250 student tickets. And 50 senior tickets. Okay, and there you have it. You can now use your calculator to solve a system very, very quickly. Um, that's all we got for you today. This is Longo, and I'm out. Have a good one.